Hey, wait up. I'm in the mood to eat some good food. <laughs> so what up, dude? It's Frog Food Review. All right, this appears to be a... a smothered burrito from what seems to be Taco Bell. Now, they didn't give me any type of utensil to eat this with. <clears throat> that is why Taco Bell is the inferior Mexican cuisine restaurant. So, I'm going to have to find a way to dig in somehow, but first, we have to test out everything. Sniff test. <laughs> Smells very Mexican, very authentic. I really appreciate that. I think they did a very good job with that. It's cold. I'm real sick and tired of every single time I go to Taco Bell, I always come back with cold food. I've had enough. I could say though, coming from a Mexican family, this tastes very authentic. Let's go for a froggy focus here. Check that out. That's not something you'd normally see from Taco Bell. Now, I know my Mexican films. I've seen Chef. I totally understand. Let's dig in. All right, so this is a... <clears throat> we gotta figure out what's going on in the inside. There's a lot of good stuff here. On the outside is a nice sauce. Tastes just like Taco Bell hot sauce, but hey, if it's not, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You've got a nice flour tortilla. You open it up. What appears to be beans and onions. There's a lot of cheese and a lot of sauce. So one thing that I can say already off the bat, it's not dry. This ain't no granny burrito here. This is nice and moist. Mm -hmm. The real deal. You know, I've had a lot of people always write off Taco Bell. I've had enough. This is authentic Mexican cuisine. It's not going to Mexico. Mm. It's real good. Let's carry on the right. Let's try some of this cheese. Mm. There's even sauce under the cheese. Now that's, that's dedication. 
Now that's a lot of sauce. All right, look at that. <clears throat> those are the re those are refried beans, not pre-fried, not post-fried. Re refried beans. Hmm. Now one thing I can say right off the bat, this is strong. Everything here just explodes. But it has nuance. There's subtleties and intricacies. And it's like a multifaceted thing. There's a lot of going on in the flavor, but it's not weak. This ain't no coward. This ain't no this this is not a wimpy burrito. This is strong. And now we're playing with power. This is really good. A lot of heavy duty flavors. It's got a lot of potency to it. It's real strong. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. I think I taste some beef, but it kind of bleeds in with the burrito. And so while there are a lot of strong flavors, the contents actually inside the burrito tend to bleed together. I don't know if I'm down with that. Good textures though. Good textures all around. It has a nice homey feel. I feel like I could get this from a Mi Abuela's Kitchen, you know? Going back to, to, me, to me casa, eating some Mexican cuisine, and I could really, I taste that nice home flavor. You know, like just mi hermano, just good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that sauce. Now that's a lot of sauce. Creamy too, but it's got some bite. It's got a little bit of punch, you know, this is like a Mike Tyson. It's not super hot, but strong, savory, like a nice, I don't know, it's like, you ever have meat, like, it's like a nice girlfriend, you know, who's strong, stands up for herself, but she's not, she's not feisty and mean, you know, she's still a sweet, down-to-earth girl, this is what this is like, you know, it's real good. So far, thoughts, it's going to get a pretty hefty score, I'm really, really liking this. I didn't know what to expect with a name like Smothered Burrito. This sounds weird. It sounds like a strange video I'd find online that I don't want to watch. But I want to watch this. Well, I mean, I'd rather eat it. But, you know. I mean, I'd really like to watch someone eat it. You know, that would be real, real cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright. Pretty good. You can't waste any of that sauce. It's a lot of sauce, you can't waste it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of sauce. Strong flavors. No, this is real good. I think I'd give it about. I'm feeling an eight on this thing. A lot of strong flavors, a variety of textures. It's got some macho power to it. You know, it's got like uh, the high kick to it. You know, it's got it. It's not super hot. I'll give it that. It could have a more diverse palette of uh, flavors on it. But, it's pretty good. And since Taco Bell is open at any, any hours of the night, all the time, they're open real late. More, 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 more window of opportunity for you to eat, eat a Taco Bell. So you should really do. And, uh, this has been a froggy review. Keep hopping along. And, yeah. Now the smothered burrito may have been not enough to keep me warm today, but I'm feeling a nice, <clears throat> I'm feeling a nice eight on this one. This is, 
this is real solid. If I really think of this is like, it's like, it's like a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. It's really good. Anyway, this has been a Frogbert food review. Keep hopping. Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Coward all you want, but this isn't over.